Had a 95-yard run last week against App State. Fake to him. Over the middle, intercepted. Stepping in front of it is Gray. Gray's got daylight. J.T. Gray. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Known more as a blitzer in Todd Grantham's package. The physical player that's always around the line of scrimmage. They're coming up with a big interception. That's the first of the year to the play. Andy Isabella, they're in zone coverage, reading the eyes of Comas, who's trying to touch it to Brenneman. And JT Gray does a nice job of just reading the quarterback's eyes. And then it's a race to the house. This is one you cannot be late as a quarterback going over the middle of the field. Comas is late, and JT Gray makes him pay. Went right at Braxton Hoyette on the last play. He tackled before a yard. They go at him again, and this time up the gut goes Young past the 40 into Mississippi State territory. He's got a chance. Can he get the edge? He's tackled inside the 10-yard line by Chris Rayford, but a big burst from one of the greatest backs in UMass history. Yeah, he does a nice job of breaking the, the play back. It started left, he broke right, and then came back out the back door again. Then it's a foot race. That's six foot one, 215 pounds right there, which is why Todd Grantham told us he could play. Fitzgerald on a keeper. No. Close. Banging offensive line and he, around. I don't think he got there. Not where it's being marked. It didn't move much at all, and it's going to be UMass's football. That's well shot. Had to get a full yard. And yeah, that's well shot. That is UMass's football as we end the first quarter. Nick Fitzgerald tries the quarterback keeper, and Mark Whipple's defensive line holds. 10-3 Mississippi State. He plays at right guard. And the throw, and it's a pick six. Jumping the route into the end zone is Isaiah Rogers. Well, you just don't see a late throw like that from Nick Fitzgerald. Gerald's late. This is just a good defensive play where you study film, you watch the play fake, you know where the quarterback's going with it, and you have an opportunity to jump the route. And that's exactly what, what Rodgers does here. He's got excellent speed, redirects himself, and gets a great jump on the football. And there is absolutely nothing Nick Fitzgerald can do about that. Design quarterback draw. And it works like wonders inside the 10. Uh, it's the formation that pulls UMass out. Only one linebacker inside a 4-1 front, essentially. And so you get a man on a man. And when you have... Made me big. And with all this, without all this muscle and fat, I would have died. It would have prevented the bullets from hitting major arteries. He has a brother in prison for murder. What? And we got to stop you there. Just a second. A touchdown pass to, Aunt, to Andy Isabella. And Isabella on a 70-yard catch gives UMass the lead over Mississippi State. But widening. And then you have a linebacker pretty much chasing. And it's Mark McLaren, actually a safety, chasing Isabella. You see him there at the end of this. This is the track part of it right here. It's a foot race, and then watch the end of this. Through the tape. On Friday, this UMass team can beat us. Tried to preach that to his team all week. Gerald on a third and nine, has a man open, and it's intercepted. It's taken away by Tyler Hayes. A receiver for Mississippi State for the ball right here in the air. Takes it away with the ball. The Minutemen with a 20 to 13 lead. 
Second and goal from the eight. Design run with Fitzgerald walking in. First offensive touchdown today. I bet, he, I bet he's a little hoarse right now. We get a nice job of blocking on the Butkus Award watch list to start the season. Brighton Barr with those flowing locks in the middle of the defense is the leading tackler. And Fitz goes right at him, and Barr gets blocked, and Fitz goes into the end zone. Freeze up right here. Watch the block on Barr that frees him up. That frees up Nick Fitzgerald to walk in. Pass to Williams. Excellent execution for Mississippi State on first downs in the second half. Now look at this trickeration. Todd wants to throw the deep ball, and it's intercepted. That is Isaiah Rodgers again. And after all this momentum, look at Rodgers, who's still on his feet to the 45-yard line. Mississippi State tries the trick play, and it bites him. Sometimes you just got to know who's going to come up with a second interception here. Right about now is when it should just go to the sideline. Throw it away and come back. Now it's a third and 13 for Mississippi State's 25. And here comes State with some pressure. And it's just thrown into the ground. And Comas is lying motionless and at the 34-yard line. Roughing the passer, so there'll be... A first down here. You're just hoping Coma's tough kid, though. Peels first himself five, right up. Targeting. Defense, number 30. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. The previous play is under further review. Other top playmakers on the back end. Oh, yeah. That's that's a dismissal after right the review, there. The ruling on the field is confirmed. Number 38 is disqualified. There's no doubt about that. There is absolutely no doubt. That is what the rule is in place to guard against right there. Taylor, won't you use that hairstyle? It's to go in the game. Logan Laurent to punt on fourth and five. And this is Thomas that makes the catch at the 20. Makes a man miss. Has the sideline. Has the punter to beat, and he beat him. Dedrick Thomas to the house. Miles and Deer all hurt. Stepping up is Dedrick Thomas. Touchdown, Bulldogs. We're at 35-14. Whipping at home last week, A&M took. We have, a, we have a fight going on between two UMass players on the field at the moment. Guys, we had Ray Thomas in, come in, and he is fired up with Jesse Britt. Mm. 